Hey guys, welcome back to What's Poppin. So this is part two of uh, my Spice Girls video. You can watch part one here, where you hear what I thought about the girls going on tour. Um, now I went to see the Spice Girls last week. Um, it was a really, really great concert actually. Um, it really took me back to the 90s and kind of how fashion was and music and I suppose what I was doing at the time as well. Um, so it was really, really nice to see the girls on stage performing and on tour. Um, now they opened the tour with Spice Up Your Life um, and lots of confetti. Uh, those of you that went will know what I'm talking about. Now um, we were actually in the golden circle so we were right um, in the stage. Um, and it's, it was really nice kind of see the girls um, performing like I said together. They then went on and performed um, loads of different songs off the three albums. So two, perform two Become One, Goodbye. Uh, which was a little bit awkward, obviously, considering that um, the song was about Jerry. Um, Say You'll Be There, Mama, um, Something Kind of Funny, Who Do You Think You Are, Too Much, Stop. Uh, they did a rendition of Holla, which I thought was nice. Um, and then they finished off with Expected Wannabe. So it was really, really good to kind of hear them, see them perform. They were all singing live, which was nice. And I'll talk more about that in a second. Um, they also had their own dancers. So obviously there were the four girls, um, but then they had, I think they had about four, maybe five, might have been four, four dancers each. Um, and they were all dressed um, like the Spice Girls, if that makes sense. Um, so Jerry had uh, kind of like a royalty theme. So she was wearing like a, a Union Jack kind of dress, so I assume that's what it was meant to be. But then her dancers were kind of dressed as uh, Jacks. Um, then you had Mel B, she was dressed in her, um, her le leopard jumpsuit. And um, her dancers were dressed um, in kind of to match. Let's just say that, they were dressed to match. Um, so it was quite interesting to kind of see the girls open up and have the dancers. Um, it was interesting as well because when they were performing Spice Up Your Life, they were on the actual golden circle. Um, so they were all kind of split out and then the dancers were with them um, performing uh, and dancing kind of with the girls. Um, and then all the Spice Girls went back on stage and, and continued the concert after. So that was quite a, a good opening. Um, the outfits were amazing. Um, I think the styles were definitely throwbacks to um, the 90s, but kind of with a current twist. Um, so for example, Mel B had on a jumpsuit, um, but it was a leopard one, it was all sparkly. I'll put a video in here just so you can see it as well. I will say that all of the girls, by the way, looked amazing uh, on stage. Um, you've got to think that they're in their 40s now. Um, and you know to be to perform for two hours because the concert was two hours um, with very minimal breaks I think they had like three maybe four um, costume changes um, but the breaks were literally like five minutes max so to perform for two hours with minimal breaks talking about 20 minute break um, when you're dancing and singing and jumping around on the stage is you know it, it's quite tiring especially at that age so um, I do respect them for that. Um, Mel C had on um, a lot of sporty gear as you'd expect um, and then obviously Emma had on um, flowy dresses very pink um, they all looked really really good. Um, now I didn't encounter any issues with sound when I was there. I know there's been some complaints from the Dublin and the Manchester um, events that there were issues with the sound. Um, I didn't encounter that at all. Um, however, people that I know that went to the same uh, concert as me, who sat at the back, um, encountered some problems. They couldn't hear the girls when they were talking on stage and they couldn't hear the um, video um, when it was actually playing as well. But I could hear, I mean, I was, I was right at the front so I could hear everything. Um, the only thing I did notice and I thought it was a bit of a shame was um, a lot of times when Mel C was doing her ad libs, um, her mic seemed to be turned down really, really low. Um, or it was switched off completely. So we could see her singing, as in, because um, I was quite close, I could see her mouth, but nothing was coming out of her mic. <laughs> Surprise! 
Um, so I thought that was uh, a bit of a shame, but I think what it did show is that actually they were singing live. Um, so again, you know, considering they're in their 40s, and I know these girls are singers, um, but to be doing that for two hours and singing live is, is quite difficult. So um, I do respect them for that. One thing I did want to note is Jerry seemed a little bit off during the performance, uh, and I'm not too sure why. Um, she did seem a little bit skinny when I looked at her on stage and in her outfits. Um, she looks good for her age, but um, she did seem quite frail, so I hope she's okay. Um, you know, at one point she looked a bit confused, she didn't know what was going on. Um, one of the parts, she actually went on the stage and the girls were on the golden circle and she was stood there for almost five minutes, kind of confused, not sure, not sure what she was meant to do. Um, and I noticed as well during a lot of the performances when they were doing choreography, she kept kind of glancing at the other girls to see what they were doing or I don't know, it was almost like she was uncomfortable or unprepared um, or maybe it was something else, I'm not sure. Um, but I think it was nice to see her there considering that she was the one who essentially disbanded the group and I'll talk more about that in a bit. Um, it was nice to see her back on the stage with the girls. I thought it was a shame that um, Victoria Beckham was missing, um, and I think whilst it, whilst I do agree that you know she's moved past singing and past the the Spice Girls, it felt very much like an opportunity for the fans and for the Spice Girls to kind of come together and say thanks for the memories. Um, and at one point when they I think they were singing Mama, they had um, a video montage on the screens um, of all the girls in the band and back in the nineties and when they were younger. Uh, and some of those pictures obviously had uh, Victoria in, um, which was a little bit odd. Um, so I think it was a shame that, you know, she wasn't there because it was almost like a goodbye um, from everybody. So uh, like I said, it was a bit of a shame that she wasn't there. Um, but I'm hoping that she will you know, do a final show, whether it's wrapping up this tour um, or if they do something else to say goodbye, then that would be really, really good. Um, I think I'd go and see them again. Um, because it was such um, such good memories just watching them um, and just kind of reflecting on, on the group as a whole. Um, I was watching as well because I always considered Mel B to be the lead singer of the group, but I think after watching them this time and kind of listening to who was singing and the vocals, you know, Mel C is clearly the stronger singer out of the group. Um, and I'm not sure if that's why she had problems with her mic, why they turned it down. Um, but I think Mel B is definitely the Beyonce, quote unquote, the Beyonce of the group. Um, she's definitely the performer. She's the most outspoken, probably the most, mo most well-known, sorry, out of them, uh, putting aside Victoria Beckham. Um, so she's off often seen as front and center of the group. Um, so it was quite interesting to kind of watch the dynamics. Um, it's really interesting to kind of think about where the Spice Girls would have gone if Joey had stayed with the group. Um, and I think while she didn't really sing as much as Mal C and Mal B, she definitely had a presence in the group, um, which was missing when she left. Um, I think the dynamics of the group changed. Uh, it meant that Emma and Victoria Beckham had to really step up and sing more. And you notice that a lot more on the Forever album, um, where they really get their own verses and their own parts, where they never really had that. They had it sometimes, but not all the time. Whereas on most of the songs on um, the Forever album, they had a part themselves, which was a little bit different. Um, if I'm being honest, I don't think the group would have gone in the direction they had um, if Jerry had remained in the group. Um, you know, it's interesting. I think they got a little bit lost, so they tried to reinvent themselves. Um, you know, I talked about it in my previous video. They obviously went over to the um, the states. They worked with a lot of American writers and producers, but obviously at that time, you know, two thousand two thousand one, um, you know, there was a lot of girl bands in America. So Destiny's Child were quite big at this point. They obviously, had TLC, Black, and Vogue. So there was a lot of girl groups really doing it big at over there at the time who were already established um, and I think you know these four girls coming over from the UK they were probably thinking who are these girls whereas we knew them as as the Spice Girls um, so I think they just got a bit lost they then lost connection with their existing fans as the you know the music on the Forever album was quite a bit different from what they'd done before they changed their image so they tried to reinvent themselves like I said but I think they just kind of lost their way um, and then they kind of just disbanded so um, so yeah, it was interesting to kind of see them back together. Um, it was obviously weird because um, for Goodbye and um, and Holla, Jerry was never in the group. So I kind of watched when they were performing those songs and watched her. Um, so it was just interesting to, to look at the dynamics now and obviously back then. Um, so as I mentioned, the music really took me back to a time when it was fun. 
I'm really curious to kind of see what's next for the girls. Um, you know, I've heard rumors that they're going to be or wanting to tour America. Um, I think that'd be quite good, actually, because I was quite surprised how many international fans turned up at the concert I was at. And my one was actually quite a small one. So it was in Coventry, um, whereas in Manchester uh, and Dublin, they're bigger venues. So um, I imagine there would have been more international fans there, but there was uh, people from Puerto Rico, Brazil, uh, America. Um, I know some YouTubers from America came over to the UK to watch them. So clearly there's a demand for the concert, um, but it's interesting to kind of see where they're going to go from here. Would you be open to new music? Me, I'm not sure. Um, I think music's probably changed at this point, um, and I'm not sure if they could, um, as a group, and I'll, I'll stress that as a group, um, work together in the current climate. Um, but it'd be interesting to kind of see if they did release music, how they would get on. Um, so let me know in the comments below what you would think. Do you want to see new music from the Spice Girls? Um, do you think they should continue the solo ventures? I know that Emma has recently released a new album, which uh, I liked a couple of tracks, but not many. Um, I know Mel C still releases quite a bit of music, uh, whereas Mel B has really fallen back uh, and Jerry hasn't released anything for years. So would you want to see them continue as solo artists or as a group? Or do you think they should just leave it there and kind of just honor the memories that they've made already? So that's it for this video. Um, don't forget to like the video if you like the Spice Girls or you've enjoyed the commentary today. And also hit the subscribe button to be notified of when I next upload. And thanks for listening and I'll speak to you next time. Bye. Oh yeah, I know that everybody